Hi everyone, my name is Jean-Christophe Schwinat. In this beginner Python tutorial, we will learn about Python indentation. In code, the indentation represents the spaces at the beginning of the line. It is super important in Python to use indentation to indicate a block of code. In fact, Python will force you to do it. So when in other code, you couldn't write a for loop just like this for i in range three, and then put your print statement at the beginning of the line, Python will throw an error. So the indentation error that we see it is because Python expected an indented block after a for statement. So what we need to do instead, we can do for i in range three, and then we can just put a space at the beginning of the line. So print i. And this will work fantastically. The problem with spaces is that if you forget the number of spaces you put in, for instance, you just create this other loop saying for i in range three, and then you do a print i. What if you want to do another print statement? Then you can create another line, and for some reason, you add an extra space. Then you print i plus 1, and what Python will do is it will throw the error. So instead of using spaces, I always prefer using the tab key on my keyboard. So for instance, right now, I write for i in range 3. Then I can use... Uh, VS Code will create that tab, but if it doesn't, you can just use tab and print i. And whenever you create a new line, probably your text editor will create that new line for you. But if it doesn't, you can just use tab, and it always will bring you to the same place of indentation that you had. So now you can write print i plus 1. And this is very interesting because you can also use tabs for comments. So, in, uh, so instead of using spaces, you could just add tab and write your comment at the end of the line. And whenever you use tab, it will end up at the same space, at the same spot instead of spaces. So your comments can look a little bit better. So indentation has to be used in other kinds of blocks, like if blocks. So if I if I write uh, here, if ten is greater than two then I will need an indented block as well, print success. So it worked right now, and each block is independent. So you could have different indentations. So if 10 is greater than 2, then I print success. And then if I create another block, if I create another block here, then I can use different indentations. So if 10 greater than 2, print success. And if I run this, it will work normally. One last example where you, you need to use indentation is when you create a function. So if you do def my function, and we won't go too much into how to what a function is, but let's print hello. So if I run this function with the indentation, it will work OK. It will print a low. But if I create another function, and instead of having the indent, I just uh, make sure I don't have it, then I will have the indentation error. So this was the, the end of this tutorial. It was very important in order to understand how to program in Python. And thank you very much. My name was